Uh, yeah, climb down the steps and then head up where there are two hidden Igors. Oh my gosh, why? Uh, okay, no, I... I... It's a bit more... It's easier to keep track of just three of these, so... Even though I'm getting hurt, still. Oh, hi! I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can just stay there. Oh wait, I can just time this and just make it so, like... Yeah. Most of them are on the other side, at least. This is hot. Go back into the top part of the room and head right a screen. Oh my goodness! Yeah, just use magic cape. Yeah. <laughs> At the right side of this room, there's a secret room beyond the cracked wall. Oh, we've had a fairy fountain. You can go back down if you want some fairies. Oh, the room down here? Or... Yeah, go back down. Alright. <clears throat> There's a crack wall see below you. How do I go over there? It's like the... In order to make it across, Link must stand directly south of the two blocks on the right. Facing upwards. Use the Pegasus boost to dash into the block, sending Link flying across them. Oh, no, oh! yeah, dash. Alright. Okay, that's clever. That's clever use of uh, game design. I like how you can still hear the uh, ball things. Oh, matter too. Yep. Alright, we needed that. Four enemies in this room, then continue onward. Using Bombo is a good way to defeat them without taking any damage. No, well, they, they seem to be dead already, so. In the next room, there are three more enemies to take care of them. Continue to the next room. Alright. Yeah. Three more enemies, along with a pair of Beemos. <coughs> Beat them and head down through to the next room. Die. I can't even do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a waste of a hurt. This time there was some ice, but just defeat the two enemies and continue to the next. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I'm not bothering with ice physics right now. So it's on the enemies here and head left the screen. Right. Oh goodness. <laughs> Continue left another screen and you will face some familiar foes in the form of land molas. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. Oh magic. Ah. Okay, that thing's annoying. Yeah. Oh, come on. What is that thing even doing? Alright. Alright. The landmolus bot- Ugh, landmolus bot- Landmolus bot- Landmolus bot- was a long time ago, because there's now a statue in the room as well that would shoot fireballs at you. If you have a golden sword, two yes. sword slashes will defeat each of the enemies. Alternatively, a single silver arrow will defeat them. Oh. Uh, that, that thing in the corner doesn't help. Yeah, I think Soul Slashers is being more accurate, I think, so. Just gonna do it like that. Yeah, this boss isn't hard anymore. 
It's just, you just have to know about the rock thing damaging you. Except for that thing. That doesn't need, really need to be here. Yeah, still goes in more directions. Nice. There are two. Let's see. Black on screen, we got the next four. There are three whiz worlds in this room as well as an invisible pathway. When the whiz worlds, yeah, when the whiz worlds appear, use the ether medallion to defeat them all at once. Oh, ether. I wonder if this will work. Nope. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh... Run through this room and right head up along the right side. There are more woods ropes here, and the best bet is to once again use the Ether Medallion. Alright. So I guess it's the batch up to the top of the floor before heading east the screen. I mean, I want to do with those guys, so that's nice. Oh! <laughs> Hi. Oh, the thing's falling. No. How you guys doing? <laughs> I want him to fall as well. Yeah. Sure path. <laughs> it didn't. The animation didn't even finish. <clears throat> First thing to do in this room is to walk around with all the dull pots that they are in your way, so you can also collect some magic. You have to light all four of the torches. And we quickly run to the quickly run to the door at the south end of the. South end of the room. I would suggest starting with the top one, and then moving clockwise around the room. Yeah. I did it kind of weirdly. That that fall kind of actually helped a little bit. Oh no, not the eyes again. In the next room, be sure to lift the pot at the top right corner, and they fill up their magic, and then carefully climb the steps. Oof. On the higher floor, you'll have to light all the torches in the four corners of the room. I uh, suggest so using the lamp first. Oh my. Okay, I'm restarting that. <laughs> I would suggest using the lamp first in the. Wait, wait, wait. To the bottom right and then the bottom left torches. Alright. And circle back to the center of the room and use a fire rod to light the final two. Yeah, that makes sense. Feed the two enemies here, and then one of them will drop a small key. You can, well, you can open the treasure chest here if you need to replenish your bombs and arrows. There's a crack against the stuffing wall, and you'll need to bomb it while avoiding the blade traps. A well-timed throw will cause the bomb to move along the moving platform and will blow up the wall. Okay, no, I didn't. It's not quick enough. Well, it's too quick, rather. Ugh. Well, am I supposed to kill this thing with a bomb? No. Oh. Oh, oops. These defense upgrades don't feel like they're do doing much, honestly. Well, at least you can get in there, fairy. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. 
Uh, this thing's in the way though, so that's kind of sucky. Ugh. We're always going to have like one extra small key at this point. Oh no! <laughs> Why? If you, the golden, if you have the golden sword, you'll take two splashes. Oh, okay. Why did you have to bring this guy back though? I mean, they're, they're bringing everyone back. Okay, good. That did, <clears throat> didn't take nearly as long as the uh, original fight, so that's nice. Wait, Here's the hook shot. Oh, right, right. Uh... At the south end of the room, excuse me. Oh. All right. They're probably just going to bring back the light world bosses, though. Because if they brought back all the bosses in the game, this would be, like, ridiculous. This room has moving platforms, blade traps, and bumpers. If that's best to use the magic cape and quickly run through it. I'm gonna be a man. <laughs> man. Okay, that wasn't that bad, honestly. See. Walk left and head through the locked door to take on the boss, Aghanim. Alright. <clears throat> Time to face him again. Battle of Aghanim is also identical to the first fight. This time it'll split into three, though. Oh, goodness. I'm not ready for this. However, the darker the three shadows indicate, indicate which is the real Aghanim. Just like before, you need to repel the blue orb back towards Aghanim to harm him. Yeah. While the other forms of Aghanim are fake, you can hit their blue arms in the direction of Aghanim to harm the real one as well. This is not fair. I can't uh, take my short set diagonally like that. Okay, I can change it. Nice. Okay, that's two hits. More. Can I hit him twice with the other guys? <clears throat> I don't know. No, oh, if we get it, that'll be nice. Ugh. Dang it. No, we got a lot of safety nuts, so. Yeah, that wasn't gonna hurt. Ah. Alright. So what are your thoughts on Aghanim? Oh, you can oh. hit him twice. Wait, is that it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Game's over. Final thoughts, Harry? <laughs> oh, plot twist. Ganon was the rule. Villain. Oh, hi. Man. Alright, I kind of want to get a full health refill before we do the final battle. Uh... I feel like we should be fine with just fairies. Hopefully, mm. I can get one blue potion at least. Alright, let's go back to the light world real quick. It's also a good idea to fill your balls up with blue potion or at least a few fairies. Oh wow, we're right on uh, Hyrule Castle. Oh my goodness! I'm just trying to get a good spot. There we go. What? That should count. Come on. That uh, whatever. I'll go down. Yeah, that's gonna count. Hey, uh, Ganon's the real villain. Uh, you wanna stop attacking us? Yeah, uh, we kinda, like, solved this whole ordeal. We just need to defeat Ganon. So, um. Yeah, spoiler alert, he's the villain. 
Wait, why is it warping us back now? again? What the hell? Why did it do that? This is very weird. It doesn't probably feel Gan Probably Ganon's magic messing with you. Probably. Okay, can I warp here? <laughs> I just wanna... Oh my goodness. I just wanna get to a shop. Is that too much to ask? And I think there was a fairy fountain down around here somewhere, maybe. Actually, no. I can just get uh, get like a sub of a red potion and just fill it up. Why can't I just use your bird to call you over? Uh, I suppose it was close enough anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yay. Alright. Uh, I can get two. Uh, do you think we should get another one or just leave fairies for the others? Uh, fairies are the only ones that can instantly revive you after death, right? Yeah. They, they leave. the blue potion gives you, gives us full health and magic refill though. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, two two blue potions should be fine, but mm. you should be all right. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I can just fly back, can't you? Yeah, be idiots, don't see me. <laughs> okay. Uh. And, uh... Yep. Feel the power. You know, Zelda's not gonna have an army when you're done with this game. Yeah. Oh, I guess it just forces you to a dark world when you go to, uh, under that bridge, I guess. Oops. It's funny, like, uh, in Four Souls Adventures, uh, there's this area at the end of the game where you just get attacked by a bunch of the same looking guards. So, and there's like a million of them. Okay. I've I've seen the like a, most of a let's play of it. Hit you... Ganon with a sword before he even starts to talk. Yay! <laughs> the iconic theme, though. All right, final boss time. Start. I was trying to try it in the round. Yeah, it doesn't do too much damage. What the heck, Trident does less damage than Chain Chomps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of thankful for it, though. Alright, we've got a fully charged up Master Sword, so you've got nothing on us. Hopefully. Hey, it's the uh, Firebirds from um, Faces of Evil. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, good goodness. Okay, yeah, he <laughs> is damaging me a lot. After Link has hit Ganon enough times, he will start to summon blazing bats. Yeah. In between attacks, keep trying to sneak in sword slashes. Okay, this guy is pretty tough, I'll give him that. It's mainly the fire here, yes. Yeah, wow. 
Wow. Actually, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try uh, using the cape. Wait, can I attack when I'm in the cave, actually? Oh, you could. Okay, I can. Cool. Um, cheese this fight. Real good. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Do you like not being able to hit me, Gundam? This process four times, and after four successful hits, Ganon will have turned the battlefield into an island. <laughs> and the four kids will knock out the two forces, and you know, they'll relight them so you can see them. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I, I don't have any more fairies, so I gotta be careful. Alright, oh goodness. Really? Yeah, that's kind of cheap. Oh, even he, he can't believe this. No. Alright. After Ganon is stomping the ground for the fourth time, the bottom left torch will go out first. Ah. Looks like it's quick enough and relights the bottom left torch before the bottom right torch goes out. This will cause the bottom right torch to stay lit for the remainder of the battle. Hmm. <clears throat> During this final phase of the battle, we will first need to light the two torches. The torch is lit, Link will be able to deliver a sword slash again and cause him to return blue. Oh my goodness. I don't... It's over our time. Oh, I don't think that I don't think that connected. Mm, repeat the process until you've hit Gan four times and he's been defeated, so he may have actually just hit him. Ah, no! Ah, uh, there you go. What? Oh. Come on. Yep. How about that sound effect though? Oh, come on. Ah. This is bad. Okay, this doesn't work now, then I'm kind of screwed. There. Nice, okay. I'm gonna wait until he's closer to me. Oh, come on. Ugh. Ugh. That is really strict. Alright, two more, I think. Unless that other one earlier counted. No, don't fall, don't fall, whatever you do. Because I think it resets the entire fight. And um, guy never says anything about that. Nope. Ah! Come on. Alright, one more. It should be the last hit. We can do this. No! Um... I... What are you doing? What am I supposed to do now? I don't have any magic. You don't need magic. You can still... Wait. No, I'm supposed... I... I... Because I need to... I need to light the, uh... Torches so I can actually see him. Or, like, Wait. actually attack him. And your lamp uses magic. Why is that a thing? Yeah, that is... I don't like that at all. <laughs> so I don't think you can do the Zelda 1 approach and just stab randomly. I don't think that's gonna work. We might have to just reset. Which is... <sighs> Why? Yeah. Ugh, okay. 
Oh wow, it does kick him out. Yeah. That was lame. We almost had it. <laughs> that is not good game design. Yeah. Yeah, I was praising, praising it earlier, but like, yeah. It shouldn't be the case. That shouldn't be required. It's a cool idea, but if you're gonna do that, like, at least, like, give me some, like, magic jars or something if I'm low. Alright, I'm just gonna get back on, um, blue potions or something. That was a lame loss. By all intents and purposes, we should have won that fight. <laughs> uh. Oh well. It'll be fine. <coughs> oh, that's just great. <laughs> We only have enough for two. Yeah. Oh, we don't even have enough for two. I, I just said that. I thought, yeah, I thought you said we only have enough for two. I misheard you. Uh, hmm. Can we, gr we can grind a little bit for another one, I guess. I don't know. Jeez, from hero to zero. <laughs> Yeah, that was abysmal and a half. Can't imagine like fighting that fighting Ganon with no armor upgrades. You're so close. Okay, how, can you kill those things? Yeah, but it's kind of awkward. There we go. Alright. Mm. One rupee. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hmm. I mean, I guess we can, wait, how many, how much is a red potion? Tw under 20. I guess we can get like a red potion and like a green potion from the fairy. I don't know. Might be the best option right now. Or, I don't know. Okay, just give me that half a heart back. <sighs> All right. Yeah, because I, I just go use the cape for the first phase, because that's. Ugh. Oh well. Is that... Well, you're only. You're just going with one red potion and one green potion? Uh, we got uh, a, uh, a blue potion with us. I'm gonna get a green potion from the fairy. Might as well get two, because uh, we've got two uh, bottles. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> yeah, let's try that again. All right. Yay. 
All right, let's do this. Get this ready. And this time we should win. If we don't, we're kind of screwed because we have like no money to really get <coughs> anything. So let's hope for the best. Hit him. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll use it when he starts using the fire things. Oof. There we go. Now, all right. Man, he's letting me take a lot of hot shots on him right now. Goodness. Am I going to the next phase? Yeah, we're getting into the next phase really early. Wow. Good. Okay, we're back. We're right at this part again. So, we just do this right. Okay, it's not gonna be. Yeah, it goes, but too fast for me to react. There we go. Okay. One hit. Oh no! Oh, I could have got him in there. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Tag now it. This one. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, oh, well. Oh, you got me coming, man. <sighs> That's very perky. I do like that he leaves himself open for a little while, though. That is nice. Yeah. I should probably hit a lap soon. Wait, did he just did it reset his blue status again? I oh. think it did for a second, yeah. I couldn't really capitalize on that though. I should have. Oh, goodness. Okay, one. I think it's one more. I, I lost track. One more. Alright. Whoa, what the heck? That's glitchy. Alright. We have to really mess up uh, to fail now. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, that was glitchy. I thought you were about to fall off the edge. Oh, that would have sucked as well. We did it! Oh, man. Uh, congratulations. Yay! Finally beat the game. I can finally get the, get this game out of my backlog now. Mode 7! Yay! How much to press the press button? Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Link. You have reassembled the Mystic Doritos. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so, if Link just asked for Gant to never be resurrected again, would it have worked? It. That's what you should have uh, asked for. 
It was too early in the timeline. He didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, total we've totally destroyed him. <laughs> He's totally not gonna come back. I wish for a voice. I wish for a mountain of handkerchiefs. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, it's like basically oh, just nice. basically just wished for everything to go back to normal and resurrect some characters as you'll see. Probably the happiest Zelda ending. Yeah. It's funny for like <laughs> the uh the um was it the bad ending of Ocarina of Time. This is a nice little ending sequence, though. I like that you can actually see what happened to all the characters. All tears rule the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the Game Boy Advance uh, remake or port or whatever you want to call it um, has a secondary ending that lets you see what happened to the Dark World characters, mm -hmm. which is nice. But I haven't really seen Bully. it. Bully makes a friend. <laughs> Grandpa recovers. Yay! Yeah, that's what. Alright, yeah. now who dragged him back? Yeah. Well, he was clear. He was clearly dead, but like, uh, I mean, the Triforce can wish any, make you wish for anything. So, whatever. Did he have a sword? Uh, well. Yeah, we well we borrowed his sword and shield at the start of the game, but we had the Master Sword oh, now. Yeah. I'm just assuming that his uncle was an inventor in his younger days now. Yeah. So there's, uh, there's game material for that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that, actually. Back now, what are those guys' names in Ocarina of Time? Like, Talon and... What is it, what's the other guy's name? It's like Talon and Ingo. There we go. Yeah. I think Malon's the uh, girl. Oh, the flute boys, all right. Venus, Queen of Fairies, wishing well. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> they don't look creepy. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. I don't remember what they look like in the 3DS remakes, but still creepy. <laughs> yeah, what what are they thinking with those designs? Something otherworldly, not quite human. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean... I mean, as a kid, I didn't really think much of the designs. It, the, those those kinds of thoughts never really came to my mind, but like, yeah, they... I don't know. Oh, we finally get to go home. <laughs> Hi. Kind of look. Well, the face. Really... The face kind of looks like Gru Gerudo ish. The Master Sword sleeps again forever. Lies. <laughs> yeah, good. Like... Good joke. Hey, actually, it looks like the Master Sword now, though. <laughs> yeah. So the fourth thief just kind of... What was his happy ending? Yeah. I think his actual grid is known. Alright, Final Thoughts, Harry. Uh, um, okay. <clears throat> um, I don't think... I don't have much to say about this game, but I did enjoy uh, going back to finish it, because I have a pretty 
I'm, I'm pretty bad at 2D Zelda, like, I always have an issue of getting lost and, like, not knowing what to do, and it's just especially bad uh, for me, because I tend to want to 100% Zelda games, and uh, that's basically what's taught me from finishing this game for the longest time and why I postponed this LP, but getting past that, uh, I, like, just go through the entire game, f um, finally, I did really enjoy this, um, I, I think they probably did the best they, they could with, um, two, uh, 2D Zelda at this point, like, like, a lot of people say this is, like, the, the best 2D Zelda game, and I can definitely see that, it, th there's a lot of, uh, uh, good points to this game, and the world's interesting to explore, and the dungeons are, uh, well designed, and, uh, uh, they, they can get difficult, like, I think it's, um, this is one of the easiest, ga uh, uh, easiest games I've seen where you can die so quickly, and, you know, you have to be prepared for that, I, I suppose, um, and, um, I, I like how the d dungeon designs actually look mostly different, like, the they still don't look too uh, different from each other, but they still look different enough compared to Zelda 1 and 2, so I appreciate that, and, uh, I don't know, I think a, a lot, of, a lot of this stuff, I, I, I do, I did really enjoy this game, I think it was a nice step forward for the series, um, I, I prefer the 3D games for, like, just our personal taste, and it's easier for me to get into them, but, um, you know, I can un I can un definitely understand why people would consider this one of the best for sure, and it's easily well, I yeah, it's easily the best two uh, D Zelda game I've played if you don't count uh, the DS games, um, but they're top down, so I guess they're up for consideration. Yeah, <clears throat> I definitely enjoy it a lot more than Phantom Hourglass Spirit Tracks could be argued i need to play that game to be sure again to be sure um but yeah i i don't know i i, I like what they had the the groundwork they made for this game and uh how future games like the ocarina of time and stuff like took what this game did and evolved it into 3d in a very uh very seamless way for the most part and yeah it's like I don't know, uh, I, it's like, I, the, the 2D Zelda games are generally not for me, uh, like, I have to go, f have a gut, usually have a guy to be able to get through the entire thing, uh, but, you know, it's one of those things where I can see the appeal and I do, did enjoy this game, but it's not something I can really see myself going through on my own time, just because it's, it can be hard for me to just, find where to go sometimes and just get everything but you know good game um i prefer the 3d games but i can see the appeal that's basically it how did you uh, find the game scrappy from what you see what, from what you saw zelda was never good <laughs> it never will be good and that everyone, all fanboys just get over that delusion is that the sooner Nintendo and the industry at large can move on to better things. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, eight and a half out of ten. It was a definite improvement over the NES Zelda's, and it still looks like it's aged quite well, so yeah, I'd like to play it. Yeah. Yeah, th th this is, out of the three Zelda games I played, um, uh, like, recently, uh, so this is definitely one I'd actually play, because, like, Zelda 1 is archaic, has a lot of things where it's like, you, it just expects you to know where things are, and, um, it's too, it, it's too open-ended, uh, Zelda 2 just has the issue of being really hard, and it's still, uh, it's still kind of cryptic, not as much, but it's still, it still has those moments, and, um, yeah, but, uh, you got anything else to say? It's a very forward-thinking game for something made in 1991. Yeah, definitely. Nonsense of Ganon aside. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's not perfect. There are some uh, nitpicks and stuff, but still. I've wondered why people call this the best 2D Zelda. It's not the best Zelda, and at least now I've seen a collection, I can see why. Yeah. Yeah, I personally don't agree with it, but I can understand the sentiment. 
There's enough quality of life features that would probably make this a lot easier for me to play. Yeah. Yeah, so as you... Like, I feel like this... Uh, if you want to get into, like, a 2D Zelda, this would be a good starting point. I don't think you really need to play the first two the NES games. Uh, it helps, though. You yeah. really appreciate this after yeah. you play. It definitely helps for you to appreciate this. I'd, uh, Zelda, Zelda 1, you could play if you're curious. Uh, Zelda 2, I think you... You play if you're a masochist. <laughs> yeah, play if you're a masochist. You can skip that one because it doesn't really have anything to do with any other game in the series, honestly. So you can skip that one, go right to Link to the Past, and yeah, it's just great to see how much better it is overall. And, you know, this is fun. I'm well, not you mentioned A Link to the Past having a lot of elements that would carry over over your time. Yeah. Zelda 2 basically, Zelda 2 kind of secretly had some as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the magic meters came, uh, like, started from Zelda 2, so there's that, I guess. And, like... And Dark Link and the towns. Yeah, the... Yeah. The, the sage names being town names. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of oh. cool. Got, got anything else, or...? It has been a pleasure. Yay. Alright, well... <laughs> Uh, that, that, that's basically all I can say about the game. So uh, thanks for watching. Link to the, uh, Scrap to the Past, I should say. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to Ocarina of Time, but that's going to be next um, on the Zelda playthroughs. And I'm actually looking forward to that because I'm actually um, familiar with that one. So that should be fun down the line. But with that said, I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover. And I'm tired. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you guys next time for whatever comes next so yeah see you guys then peace uh see you around folks <laughs>